Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a chatty get ready with me. It's been ages since I filmed my last one and I can't wait to show you uh, the makeup that I've used and have a little catch up with you all. So without further ado, let's get straight on to the makeup. So I'm, I'm currently having such a bad breakout as you can see. I normally get hormonal breakouts. So I get like a load of spots near my jaw and my chin but recently I've been getting some on my cheeks which is just so disappointing because yeah I um I used to have really good skin and I just don't know what's happened um so yeah that's not fun at all um I've already done my brows I used the um Charlotte Grant brow soap which is so good it's the only brow soap that actually keeps my hairs up i used to use the uh pink honey one this one's really popular online but it just doesn't really hold for me um i've even got their other version their brow color one and it still doesn't really hold so yeah i'm going to be carving my brows out with acid rain blank canvas um, honestly you can blur out anything with this it's really nice so I'm going to be using this to carve out my brows do you know it's been 8 months since I've done a sit down uh, makeup tutorial a whole 8 months since <laughs> I've done a chatty makeup tutorial I think I just fell off like the whole youtube filming because it actually is such hard work like having to edit the videos and everything and finding the time to film them um not many people think that it's hard work but it actually is like it's not just like a tiktok where you know tiktoks are lengthy if you do makeup but it's not just like a tiktok video where you it's already pre-filmed really when you're doing it it's um this is such a graft <laughs> but i've got nothing to do because i'm furloughed well i'm not even furloughed i don't even know why i said that i own my own business so i work for myself I don't think I've ever actually said this on my channel before, but I have my own aesthetics business. So I do Botox and fillers. And right now, um, in the UK, I can't work. So, yeah, that's been fun. Not. So for the foreseeable future, I can't work. Until we're out of this lockdown. So yeah, I also had my microblading removed. I only had one session of it though, because I was just bored of it. Like I've had it for like four or five years now and it's faded and it just leaves my eyebrows with this weird like pigment and I just want to get rid of it. And at the moment it's, it's still fading, but I need another round of it. I'm just going to use this Morphe palette. It's the 15D Day Slayer one and it looks like this. Yeah, I'm just going to use this because I haven't used this in ages and I always use the uh, clientele palette by Be Perfect. Like, always use it. So, yeah, I'm just going to start doing my eye makeup. I'm going to go in with the colour Natural, which is this one here. And just start putting this into the crease. I recently just washed all my brushes. I love using the Doll Beauty ones. These are the Doll Beauty brushes. I think I got the goat hair ones, but they do have uh, synthetic hair ones as well. Yeah, I'm currently using the Ordinary Nyx side. I don't know what it's called. It sounds like that. And the and a benzoyl peroxide wash, which isn't by The Ordinary. Um, and I'm just currently using both of them on my skin at the moment to basically eliminate any bacteria and um, try to dry out my skin a bit more. So it's less oily. Um, I really need to get some salicylic acid as well 
but the ordinary salicylic acid mask is literally like so hard to find and I can't find it anywhere and I need it well I've told myself that's what I need <laughs> um after watching so many skincare videos I'm like that's the one that I need to get because it minimizes your pores it minimizes blackheads and it gets rid of um acne well it helps it anyway yeah I'm just I'm just gonna do a really like chilled makeup nothing crazy this palette's pretty limited anyway there's only certain shades you can use I used to love doing like fun colors and don't get it wrong I still like using color but I'm just not that much of a color person anymore and because I have to wear masks at my job I can never really get away with wearing a lot of makeup plus my skin breaks out so much so yeah makeup's like fun for me I don't really wear it for anyone but it's just um breaking me out so bad okay I was going to show you my favorite Molly O'Brien brush but I can't find it and I've literally just washed it and I don't know where it is I always like deepening up eyeshadows. I never really like to wear them too light. I've just zoomed you in closer because I felt like that was too far away. Has anyone watched Bridgerton? I literally finished the whole series. At first, I watched it and I was like, why the hell are they playing Thank You Next by Ariana Grande on the violins? Like, that just really weirded me out. Um, but then when I started to realise it was, it's a modern day version of, like that kind of era so yeah it does make sense when you think of it like that but I was like what the hell is going on but yeah all like the music in there is done by the violins but it's all on like it's all like modern day music um I would definitely watch it I think it's it's definitely one to watch um I don't mind it to be fair I thought it was it was decent uh, I'm actually going to use a peaches and cream lip liner in the shade hot line and I'm going to put this in my waterline this is what I call like a deep chocolate shade and sometimes I use lip liners in my waterline do it if um, you don't feel like you want to but I've always been absolutely fine doing it um, and then I'm just going to put a bit more of this blank canvas base underneath my eyes if you have really dry under eyes, don't do this step. Um, use a base that's hydrating. Because this dries down. Yeah, I used to love filming makeup tutorials. As you can see on my YouTube channel, I was always filming them. I used to, when I worked for a company being a makeup artist, I actually worked for Urban Decay. I used to come home from work and film. And I remember on my days off, I used to just film my youtube videos like and edit them like it'd take the whole day and now obviously i work for myself i um i don't really give myself days off so i just found it hard and obviously my business takes up so much of my time like it's it's yeah, it's my business like i'm not working for anyone else like it's just myself so it consumes a lot of my time as well sometimes i didn't even have time for my boyfriend um but yeah now literally like we're in lockdown i just thought Do you know what i'm just gonna relax and film a nice chatty video because um i do actually miss doing them and it made me realize how much i missed it as well you could see i've got veneers now which i always wanted i always wanted veneers for so long so i'm so glad i went and got them done i do actually have a video on how i got them done um i'm gonna use some of that hotline lip liner actually just to smoke up my lash line but yeah i always wanted veneers like from such a young age it's really weird actually how <laughs> much i was into it but yeah i uh i'm so glad i went and got them done the shape of my teeth was absolutely fine i just wanted them for the color i've always loved like bright white teeth and to me that's just what i find beautiful and I'd always whiten my teeth and it would never, I'd never get the same effect. Um, for lashes, I've actually been loving these lashes, which a lovely brand sent to me. They are called Millions Beauty. Um, 
Bijou the Duo Brush and Glue. I honestly love these. I don't think I could ever go back to a squeezy tube glue now for strip lashes. I think I'm always going to be the one that brushes them on. Like it's just so much easier and more precise. I actually hate putting on eyelashes. Like I love how they look, but I hate the process of putting them on myself. When I do client's makeup, because I obviously do makeup artistry as well, freelance, um, I actually don't mind putting on lashes on clients. Like it doesn't faze me. I know some makeup artists hate it. They're just like, oh my God, I hate putting on lashes on other people. And I'm like, no, like I actually hate putting them on myself. Like I don't mind. It doesn't even bother me putting them on other people. Like just pop them on and they're on. I don't struggle with it at all. But on myself, I'm like, I just hate it. It's just, I just don't like doing it. Okay, whilst my lashes dry, I'm going to go on to do my bottom eyeshadow. And I'm going to use this brush from Doll Beauty. This is the 14. <laughs> like, I'm keeping track of what brushes I'm using anyway. But this is the brush 14 if you ever want, like, a really good brush for your um, bottom eyeshadow. I'm into really, like, long but thin eyelashes at the moment. So I'm just going to blend the colour Define into my lower lash line. I am going to um, <laughs> tidy this up with concealer. I'm not going to leave it that thick. So I'm just going to put these lashes on. For face makeup, I'm going to use the Ciate London Extraordinary Foundation. This is honestly my favourite. It's so nice and um, yeah, I just love it so much. In this foundation look it's so full coverage that was just one pump yeah i love it and i'm not going to use a primer because i'm only um <laughs> putting my makeup on to film and i just need to cover all of these horrible spots on my face is anyone else so lazy with their base like they take ages on their eyes <laughs> when it comes to their base makeup I'm just like meh I am sometimes like I'm just more of an eyes kind of girl like I love doing really nice eye makeup and then just yeah when it comes to my face makeup I'm like oh, do I have to <laughs> concealer I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape this is mega full coverage so full coverage And I always like to let it dry down a little bit so it mattifies because it's really movable if you just start moving it straight away. And because it's so full coverage, it goes so far. So I always let that sit in um, just for like less than a minute before I actually start moving it around. I really want the um, Dyson Airwrap Curling Kit. It looks like such a good curler. And just curls your hair like so effort effortlessly. And so many people have like mixed re reviews about it. Some people say that they like love it. And then other people have said that like it doesn't work for them. For powder, I have absolutely been loving the Charlotte Tilbury base powder. I have mine, it's the Airbrush Flawless Finish. I have mine in the shade 2 Medium. Honestly, nothing gets me as matte as this does. It's, I don't know how it's so mattifying, but I go from like shiny to this like gorgeous airbrush matte. Like honestly, airbrushes out like your skin. I don't know how much you can invest into a powder but i literally will always probably use this one now it's my favorite face powder yeah it just mattifies me and looks really good and then for my under eyes i'm just gonna go in with some of the hmb cosmetics in the shade fair and i'm gonna use a beauty sponge to give myself a little bit more brightness under there. And Holly Bean's powders are actually so nice. I've got the translucent and the fair. 
and they're both really really good powders weird thing actually i think i've realized that i have a deviated spectrum um i think because of my job doing like being an aesthetics practitioner i actually look into so many medical things and um i've literally self-diagnosed myself that i have a deviated spectrum which is where basically the um here it basically goes to one side so it's harder to breathe out of one nostril than the other and it's actually a thing you can get plastic surgery for it um and i always thought my nose lent to one side and i didn't think anything of it and um, because i've had a non-surgical rhinoplasty so i've had a filler in my nose to correct it um yeah i feel like i might actually have to go see like a plastic surgeon about i've never gone through a full one of these and this is a mini one i think it's because i only use it for my nose really so i use such small amount and it's so pigmented so you don't really need to use a lot of it bronzer i'm going to use the dark tan by mac it's a mineralized skin finish and again i'm using a dull beauty brush um, for blush and highlighter, I'm going to use this NARS Duo. It's the Orgasm NARS Duo. And then I'll use the highlighter. And then for lips, I'm going to use the same lip line I used for my waterline. And then I'll use the Doll Beauty Come to Mama lipstick. This is one of their new, their new formula ones. It's got like these love hearts on it. And how well you can see that but I always blend with my finger when using a really dark lip liner so this is the finished look it's really simple and really easy hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video make sure to give the video a thumbs up and comment down below and subscribe if you want to stick around for more videos from me and I cannot wait to see you on one of my next videos